So, uh, not to run the gauntlet on you here, like one video after another, but now you're actually going to begin to play. Oh, sorry. I said I was going to check in with you first to make sure you're here. So let me just run around. Okay, so um, let's look at how do you actually isolate the geometry now. So, <coughs> um, basically, you know, the, the information that you're seeing, I showed you when you plug the cells in how the, the numbers are counted, right? So let me pull this little... Um, block down again and uh, now we actually have not just surfaces but we have faces edges and vertices so <clears throat> um, if I want to measure um, the count for the faces right I have to establish and, and I'll explain what I did here right I'm just this is like a shortcut thing I just want you to know what I'm doing so you anyway if I plug faces into this little area tool um, it actually will give me the numerical area of all the faces, which should be 25. Oh, it won't show me that. Um, but it also gives me the centroid, which I have no idea why the centroid is in area. That doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, it's there. And <clears throat> that centroid then gives me a center point, if I turn this on, a center point within which I can use it to just count elements. So that's why I use that. And I plug that into points. And I turn that one off because there's those stupid thingies on there. Um, and that's what I'm getting. So I'm getting 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Um, if I flatten that list, I get 0 through 8. Okay. So similarly, I could do the same thing with edges, um, but I don't have any kind of area or centroid thing. Um, actually, I don't know if there's a midpoint. No, there isn't. Huh? No, no, no. You don't have to make that. I'm just explaining to you how I'm finding that information if you're so inclined to find it yourself. You don't have to. Where is that one? Uh, point, point. I'll put this up here for you, actually. So, G. Uh, this one was under surface analysis. Um, points is under display and vector. One group. So that's the cool thing to find points. Okay, so surfaces, right? It says uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so on and so forth. Um, the vertices will be uh, similar but a little bit different. So let me plug in. You can't really do it for edges because we haven't extracted the points for the edges. Don't worry about it. Um, but we've got vertices, whoops, sorry, that I'm going to plug into the points here, and then we're going to look at how it behaves. Is that point list or point area? This is point list. It's a good question. <clears throat> so I've plugged the vertices in, which let me get this reading on the panel for you here. So what you're seeing is sets of information, right? And these sets of information are coming out as 0, 1, 2, 3. And if you zoom in close enough to actually read these things, you can kind of tell that every single one of these cells has a 0, a 1, a 2, and a 3. So that's the red set, but you've got all the other adjacent cells that are overlapping right now. Notice how here in the bottom right corner there's only one number? It's because every cell, yeah, you get it. <coughs> so um, we have a couple of options here. Um, with uh, the cert, well, let me flatten it so that you can see it first. Flatten. All right, so we've got all the flattened numbers now, but each one of the cells is still going to read 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. And then it'll say um, 4, 5, 6, 7 for the second cell. 
Um, <clears throat> so what I'm getting at here is that, let me go back to faces. If you want to isolate a particular element, faces, centroid, you have to find that index value. Okay, so, um, and this is, this is new, right? So now we're going to grab a particular item. And so when you go under, now we're going under sets. And we're going to go under list. And we're going to grab a list item. So with the list item, let me mark it for you. So with a list item, it asks you for a couple of things. It asks you for the list as a list. It's kind of redundant, right? It's just says, give me a list. Um, but it, right now it's empty. So this one does not have a native input value, right? Because you need to feed it what it's trying to test. The next one is the index value, right? So this one does have a locally defined value of zero, right? That's a default value. It basically means I'm going to start the first one. And then wrap. So wrap is if you have a list that's, you know, X numbers long, um, you can have it actually wrap back to the beginning if you're using looping processes because it can just keep wrapping through that list and you can keep just recycling with a particular you know, algorithmic cadence. That's more programming than anything else, but we'll get there. So anyway, the ones you're concerned with are the list and the index. So, you know, generally speaking, if I'm trying to grab one of these faces, what is the list that I'm going to give it? Right, I'm going to give it the list of faces, right? So see here, if I hover over the F, right, that's a list of surfaces, plug that in. So now it's reading my list of surfaces. So if I have, uh, if I want to select, oh, actually, let me show you this one. So notice how if I click it, and right here it says one locally defined value, zero. Now look at what it's selecting. Do you understand the correlation? Value of zero, it's selecting zero. That's for the, the indexes? Right. Or the indexes? Yes. But why is it zero? Why is it just that uh, one is a surface? Or is it a square? So the question is why is it just selecting that one surface? Let me uh, pu plug this into the panel and show you why. So if you're reading, the numbers, the index numbers that it's assigning to each one of these panels, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you look at the panel that I've put up, right, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right, it's a list with index values so that you can mathematically or, you know, algorithmically assign relationships to each of those items. Right, so this is more on the programming side. So <clears throat> one locally defined value of zero is not saying I, I want to select zero numbers, like I want to select zero panels. It's not a count of how many panels. Right. It's which sense. item in the list am I trying to select. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's what you're saying. But mm -hmm. what I'm saying is why does it sell it that? Well, can you? Select any specific cell, right? You can. Can you guess how? Or it just by default, it just starts there. Yeah, most things have a default value. I'm guessing you probably insert a point or something. Well, insert not a point. point or uh, set the value. You do have to set the value. Yes. So, what's a clever way of setting this particular value, right? I I want to pick one, but I don't know which one yet. So, I want it to be a variable. 
so I can kind of, you know, go back and forth between which one I'm picking. What's that? I can't hear you. The bar thing? Right. It's called a number slider. Yeah. So a number slider is going to output one numerical value at a time. So <coughs> I'm going to get rid of that so it's cleaner. <coughs> Brother. So um, to override the native value, just like we did with the, the grid back here, all you have to do is just put a new number into it. So I can double click below and say 0 to, I'll start with 1, to 8, right? Because I know there are only 8. That might change, but 0 to 1 to 8. So now because my number slider is 1, I've actually selected panel number 1. So what questions do you have? A little over. Um, real quick one. I'm not getting the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The numbers instead, I'm getting just X's. You're probably getting the X's because you started constructing this and your area was on. Did he show, did Jeff show you how to turn preview on and off? Okay, well now it's, a little bit. All right, yeah, so um, to give you guys sort of another understanding, maybe I should just start the next video off with this. I'll start the next video off with this. But basically it's visibility of geometry. Because now that we've got, notice how like these panels are all there, but we also have this panel. So now we need to understand how to turn them on and off.